Steve Benoni here for Asset or Auctioneers Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event. This is item number 148. It's a 1959 Dodge Coronet four-door. Let's start under the hood. Why not? I love the styling on these things. Of course, Virgil Exner, the chief stylist at Chrysler Corporation, uh, his, uh, I would call this almost a nightmare in steel. What an amazing, sinister looking car this is, but greatly preserved, nicely, uh, uh, the chrome is looking very, very good here. And uh, under the hood, we have got, okay, the base V8. This is the 318 polyspherical V8 with a single two barrel carburetor. The silver paint's correct. Somebody painted the uh, air cleaner red. That's cool, whatever. Manual drum brakes all the way around. Manual steering. This is a 12 volt car. Generator, of course, the alternator would come along in 1961 on all Chrysler's, Valiant only in 60, but here in 59, one of the final appearances of the generator. Works fine. One thing I like to do with these cars, because they were very prone to rust, is break out the magnet, especially over the headlights. Are we sticking? Yes, that's very nice. Yeah. Take a peek here. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, let's go inside, and here's the Coronet logo, of course. And the magnet continues to stick all the way down. That's great. Door bottoms looking nice. Very good. Let's go inside. All right. Ooh, I like this. Okay, ordinarily, we would see push buttons right here, but not when you had the base three-speed manual transmission with the shifter right there. So it's a three-speed manual car. Kind of cool. AM radio in place. Beautiful interior. Uh, this is reproduction inside the coverings here, but really nice. Uh, it's got the rubber floor mat, which is a very nice thing. Hard to find if you've got to find a new one. This looks like it's the original and in it's great shape. It does have uh, belts, seat belts, uh, lap belts only, but that's cool. Parking brake. Uh, gauges are very cool, very original looking. Uh, let's take a look at the back seat. Let's pop this door open if it'll go. Okay, it is probably locked. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, very good. Okay, more of the same. Nice. Look at those door panels. How sweet is that? A nicely preserved car. Uh, I'm going to say it's been resprayed, but this is the original color. And let's get the magnet out again. Lower quarter panels on these 50s Mopars are notorious for rust, but not here. It's a nice one. Okay, inside, oh, you got to love these taillights. Okay, the trunk is uh, showing the original trunk mat. Very nice. Let's peel it up. Okay, well, it's classic stuff. This looks like nasty rust, but it's surface rust. And there's some patches. Yeah, somebody got in here and patched up some holes. But again, this is something you're going to find on virtually every car of this vintage. Um, and it's not something I wouldn't worry about. But anyway, great cruiser, nice chrome. Let's go to these quarter panels, make sure that it's as nice on the passenger side as on the driver. Okay, the magnet is, oh, hang on. There you go, wrong side, Steve. Great, good stuff. Like the hubcaps, these are the original wheel covers. Magnet continues to stick. Yeah, all right. Okay, maybe a little filler right there, it's possible. Not much, it ends here, but it's nice, no bubbles. Could be factory uh, seam sealer too, never know. Okay, interior's looking great here. Again, beautiful bench in the back. I wish this car could talk. You know, nights at the drive-in or the senior prom or whatever, off the church on Sunday. Inside's beautiful. There's that three-speed manual shift on the column. Manual steering, no power here. So you're gonna get a workout. That's a good thing. Burn off some calories, why not? The windshield is beautiful. The multiple compound curve window. No dings, beautiful shape. Not tinted, again, this is a base coronet. The tint would be extra cost. Again, the fenders are looking really good. And this is lot number 148, a great 50s highway cruiser. Bid accordingly.